Apple improved the sleep tracking abilities of Apple Watch with iOS 16. We can now analyze our sleep for each night and what stages of sleep were experienced during the night. First, let's get sleep tracking set up. To do so, head into the Health app on your iPhone, then Browse and Sleep. Scroll down and we have quite a bit of information about sleep tracking, why sleep is so important, as well as some third-party sleep tracking apps. To get started, we need to set up a sleep schedule or schedules. To do so, we just need to dial in a bedtime and a wake-up time for each schedule. Tap on the days above to remove them from this schedule. This is going to be my schedule during the week. Then tap Add a Schedule for Other Days, and I'll set up a schedule for the weekends. Notice that as I move the dial to a later bedtime, the sleep time graphic turns orange, letting me know it's gone under 8 hours. I'll move my wake up time a little later to give myself about 8.5 hours of sleep time. Currently, I have no alarm set for either sleep schedule. I'm going to keep the alarm off for the weekend, but during the week schedule, I need an alarm, and that can be activated in the Edit Schedule panel. So there's my sleep schedule, with slightly different times for the week and weekend. Next, we can enable a sleep focus, which can be really helpful if you're going to keep your iPhone at your bedside. This will also activate a wind down feature that will reduce distractions. How long the wind down period is can be adjusted later on. Next, we can enable sleep tracking on Apple Watch, which I certainly want to do. And that's it for sleep tracking setup. I just need to go to bed wearing my Apple Watch, and it will do the rest while I rest. On the Apple Watch itself, we have a sleep app that will display our sleep schedule. The schedule can be edited from here as well and will sync with the Health app on the iPhone. We can also do this on the iPhone from the Sleep section of the Health app and then Full Schedule and Options. In here, we have full control of sleep schedules, wind down, sleep goal, and more. If you're getting too many alerts about sleep, you might want to turn off sleep reminders and sleep results, which will notify you when you're scheduled to go to bed and about the results of your sleep tracking. Sleep tracking results will also appear here in the Sleep section of the Health app. Let's see what those can look like. On this iPhone, I have actual sleep data, which was gathered by my Apple Watch. Notice that it tracks my time in bed and the time asleep. It then breaks that sleep time down into sleep stages. Tap on the Info button up here for more details on what each sleep stage means. Tap Show More Sleep Data, and we can see how much time I was in each stage during the night. We can even tap on each block in the chart above to see precisely how long it lasted and when it occurred. Above we can see the sleep chart for a full week, month, or six months. The light blue bars here are nights that I didn't wear my Apple Watch while sleeping. So the only information gathered is when I put my iPhone down for the night. Scroll to move from week to week. Tap on a bar to select a specific night and switch to day view to then see its details. Jump to the comparisons tab and we can see that the watch is measuring heart rate and respiratory rate during the night. Series 8 and Apple Watch Ultra will keep track of wrist temperature as well. As you can see, there's no shortage of data gathered by the watch during sleep tracking. 
which can bring up the concern of battery usage. From my experience with an Apple Watch Series 6, the battery only loses about 10 to 15% of its charge during a night of sleep tracking. I typically put it on its charger before going to bed in the evening and for a while after I wake up. And I've not been close to having any low battery issues. So if you want to know more about how you're sleeping, wearing your Apple Watch at night to track your sleep in the Health app can be a great option.